Hello dear Runnings, welcome to Running Hood. Today it will be a special episode about hard to cut tomato, like the challenge from a Blademan, but we won't use Shinken, we will use a Yaito and a rubber band with some tissue to make uh, a bow, a little bow. So the level 1, the level 2 and level 3 were explained before on the episode of the last week, uh, the two last week in English and in French, where I was uh, talking about the specificities of this really difficult challenge that were, was proposed by Blademan to me and other uh, swordsmen on uh, Instagram. So here I will be explaining every uh, technical aspect to practice safe if you are yaidoka or batodoka in your dojo or at home if you have your own little dojo with a yaito because uh, yaito is a non sharp blade uh, that means that you won't have any issue if you make a mistake when you will draw out the sword because the non sharp edge won't cut the saya so this is my dojo and the exercise that I propose for person who already practice Yaido with formal training in a dojo um, in whatever style in Yaido or Batodo. So the thing is, I think it's an excellent uh, challenge and excellent uh, exercise if it's practiced inside uh, and especially with, um, with a Yaito. A Yaito, uh, this Yaito is a Yaito that I use, is a custom Tozando, it's an excellent uh, Yaito, well balanced, 800 grams. I'm wearing a very good Tozando um, uh, Yaido Gi too, and I'm uh, practicing inside, so it's warm, good for my joints, and the, the floor, <coughs> the floor, the tatami floor, is really uh, practical for using a slide movement with hips and entire body, especially if you practice a fast drawing like this. So if you are a beginner and you never practiced Nukiuchi of uh, Kesa, Nukiuchi of Suihei, Nukiuchi of Gyaku Kesa, just don't try this because it's too difficult. Um, I think you should first have three, five years in regular dojo uh, in Yaido to try this uh, challenge with the Yaito and uh, the, the little uh, ball that is an imitation, uh, a safe imitation um, situation of the Blademan Tomato Challenge. So first is the slide, proprioception and muscles connections. So it's just to have the proper muscles connections to slide whatever type of slide you do and to have a correct nukiuchi that will make this the uh, nukiuchi cutting the ball or hitting the ball because it's a yaito so it's really important to have a proper uh, muscles connection and proprioception proprioception is the perception of your muscles in a three dimension space so you feel uh, your different muscles that connected and will create a uh, coordination. This is an incorrect slide because too short space between my two feet. And this is a slide front with the correct three uh, feet of space. So it's between 2.5 and 3 feet of space at the moment of cut. So this is really important because the opening between the feet will uh, preserve your saya and uh, your yaito. If it's too short, it will be the mistakes that I did when I was uh, practicing uh, outside the, the challenge with real tomato and a shinken. And this is really not good uh, because you can have an accident, uh, serious injuries with a shinken, so absolutely don't recommend to practice this challenge if you are not 10 or 15 years experiment experienced uh, swordsman in battle. So the three feet space is really important because it will make to your swords to get out from 
the scoreboard. And what make the free space between your two feet is your coordination. This coordination and muscles connection, you will learn it in your dojo. So I won't talk about it because to train this little challenge with Yaito and a ball, you need to already have proper instruction to make a correct Nuki of Suihei, of Kesa and Gyaku Kesa. So here to see the, the correct space between feet, uh, we will see the two black line. If I'm starting from this center black line and I'm advancing my foot uh, after the black line, that means I will have uh, between two and three feet of um, space between my feet. So it will be enough to uh, draw out the sword. This is better because I have my two feet on the two line and this is exactly what we want. So the slide, muscle connection, proprioception, proprioception and coordination that creates the opening between the feet and then the drawing. I won't put music on this episode because the sounds will be really important. The sounds of my feet on the tatami that slide correctly because nothing on the floor that will block my feet. And of course, um, we can hear if there is a problem in the saya. Uh, and if there is a heat, this is not correct. It has to be uh, smooth. Slide in place, three feet of space. So this is the third first exercise for coordination and slides that I practiced to prepare for next year uh, to remake the challenge correctly this time. So it's good for a coordination to practice, in my opinion, the slide in place, in front and slide back. So I start from the line, I open and you see I have my two feet, one feet on the black line on the back and my front feet is uh, behind uh, the, the second black line, the center black line. So this is really important because uh, the distance between black lines on this tatami that you can see are 90 centimeters, between, I think 90 centimeters or one meter. And this is a really good indication to prepare you correct opening of feet and your slides to be sure that the slide will be correct because that will create a known absence of heat in your scoreboard. And if there is no heat, this is correct. Yeah good coordination so from the back line I slide in place there is a swing so that, that is correct and there is no heat in the scoreboard We have a start from 1.5 feet and then it's a uh, three feet of space. That is correct. There is a swing. Gyakukesa is really more difficult, I think, than the other Nukiuchi. It's normal that the first Nukiuchi, Nukiuchi of Kesa, uh, need less space between your feet because naturally you can draw out the sword with a shorter distance between you, your feet. But it doesn't matter, we will do it correctly with uh, three feet of space that will preserve the Saya. And we can imagine that if it was a Shinken, they wouldn't have an accident uh, of cutting your Saya and preserving your fingers and your arm, your left 
uh, hand arm so no hit means no accident and to have no accident potentially you need to have a correct opening uh, slide opening of three feet and correct coordination slide and coordination by the correct uh, muscles connections it's getting really fast when we this is the slide back three feet of space again so we have to prepare really correctly i think and it was one of my mistakes the um, proprioception of the slide to have an instinct in instinctive uh, slide because when you will have the ball and the throw it will be more difficult the slide will be less clean so it has to be instinctive so the correct way is to slide back because it has a better better balance with the throw of the ball to cut it and because I think uh, Blade Man made his uh, challenge this way and I think it is an excellent way of um, making the throw and uh, slide when you slide back you just have the good space and you can hit or cut with the first third of the the blade and that will be correct and not like me i was too close on half of the blade and uh having difficulties because i was used to slide front and not slide back slide back or slide slide in place so the correct way for this challenge with a yaito or with a shinken is to slide back because this is the way he made it and i think this is the this is the an excellent way to have the proper distance all is about the distance and safety of your drawing so the slide back is the correct way so the front foot won't move or just a little bit uh, and not like when you slide in place where your two feet will move and you will keep your center just exactly where you were here we just slide back so the entire body goes back if you throw and we will see that uh, later if you throw is in front of you at 90 centimeters point of uh, impact uh, where the blade will cross the, the ball you will have to be on slide back of three feet and you just will perfectly arrive you will arrive perfectly on the first third of your blade that's why the slide back is just perfect for having the proper distance and the proper safety of your scoreboard and of course your hand if it was um, shinken and even with a yaito you i think with a incorrect drawing you could destroy your uh, saya if there is no buffalo horn on the koyuguchi and you really uh, put uh, power and not proper slide back or slide front or slide in place and you could really destroy uh, your Shinken, your Yaito, sorry. So uh, this Yaito is a Tozando, so I, I, I really wouldn't uh, like to do that and uh, for my safety too, because even if it's a Yaito, I practice like I think it would be a Shinken. So I was starting from one feet, one foot, and now I'm starting from 1.5, two foot is the correct correct way. Uh, like I was saying, the hit sound is not correct. That means you would have a problem in 
your scoreboard if it was a Shinken or even with a Yaito. That means the coordination is not correct. Because the hand is uh, making slide the blade too soon and the left hand is not aligned with the trajectory of the blade. So it's too soon and not correctly fitting, fitting between your two hands. It has to be just a little sound from steel sliding on the wood and it will be correct. Yeah, just like this. Having a correct swing, yeah, is really important because even uh, if it was a tomato, you would have the correct slide, the correct synchronization with the ball or the tomato. The tomato wouldn't be cut because if there is no slide, that means there is no enough power or the edge is not aligned. So it's really important to have the swing too. It's difficult to have all these factors uh, combined in one same move. The correct muscles connection coordination, making the correct slide, not having the, the sounds of hitting because you were uh, drawing out too soon and having the such power that you would be able to cut um, a tomato. Even it will be here a ball. Difficult too to have uh, some power with the Akukesa. That is, I think, a more difficult uh, drawing technique than others. I, I think it's less natural for the body. Slide front or in place is doable with synchronization of slide cut and throw, but it is less safe and less practical in my opinion. So I did it, but it's not the way I think Bayman uh, create his um, challenge. And it is just not really well for synchronization. It's less natural, it's less harmonious, and it's less practical, but it's doable. The correct way to slide for synchronous slide Cut and throw is like back, of course. Because it creates a natural correct distance and natural correct synchronization. Your first front feet is the center of the cycle and your back feet will be the opposite point to the point of impact. So it's naturally harmonious. Nukyuchi of Suihei. Nukyuchi of Suihei. I'm on the center black line and I'm getting to the back black line. So the distance between the feet is correct. There is three feet of space. The throw. The throw for me were really difficult because uh, I'm not really good with uh, throw, so the correct throw distance is to, for level 1 for example, you just throw it uh, to 1 meter in front of you. And it arrives just on the front uh, black line that you can see, and this is where it has to be. So it's really simple to see it on this video where the three black lines are um, the point of work when you can, um, you can take your good stances. Good stance for the throw, good stance for your slide. So you have two lines for the slide and one line for the throw. And we can see it. It has to be perfectly on the black line, like it just did right now. 
and it will arrive on the correct point of cut on the sword. So the first third of the Yaito. This really beautiful Yaito that we can see here at Custom Tozando. I will make a review later with it. It's really awesome if you 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 hesitate to have a Yaito. I really recommend this one and many great swordsmen and teacher recommend Tozando or Minosaka but I don't have a Minosaka for the moment. I really recommend this one. But a custom one, of course a custom one. So the distance is really important because it arrived perfectly on the point of cut, the first third of the sword. So we see the black line is the first, the point of cut that we can see on the sword. This is not really correct. This is a drop. This is for level three, but it's really difficult for the drop to arrive um, um, on the black line. So it's a bit too close, but there is no other way. Yeah, it's a little bit too close, but for the drop level three, it's really difficult. I didn't find another way. If it's a drop, it can't be a throw, and if it's a throw, it won't be a level three like uh, Blade Man did. So it's a little bit close. Or you can make a drop throw, like I did sometime. But a drop has to be from the eyes height. And if you make a throw, it will be hi higher, so um, uh, it won't be correct. So it has to be maybe a kind of drop from the eyes and a little bit in front of you and it arrive uh, on point of cut uh, close from the line, like for uh, we did for the level 1 and level 2. It's really important because I insist on this uh, correct type of throw because if it's not on this black line you will take a risk uh, for your safety even with a Yaito because it's your back foot is getting to your back black line and synchronized with the front black line that where should be the ball if it's not the case it will be too close to you and your first reflex will be like I did a little bit on the challenge and it's not good to open your swords too close uh, with a too close distance of point of impact and that put, can put you in danger. So the sword, especially the drawing art of sword is uh, with large distance and it's difficult From for me for example, I'm coming from Karate and we have like close distance, like MP, hit, and uh, for me, very large distance like this is like a uh, sidekick, uh, Yokogiri or uh, Tsugi Mawashigiri. It's not really easy. I practice a lot because uh, I have to be um, used with that kind of distance and that kind of uh, opening space, opening connections. Uh, to visualize a point of impact that are so far from my body. So it's really important to have this free black line and uh, I think to practice this uh, exercise correctly to see them all the time. Incorrect throw distance, of course, like we said, too close, too far, too far, too far, too far if we slide back, of course. Because if you slide front, you can touch it from the back line, black line where, where I was. In slide front, I can touch it. So too far, except if you want to practice with a slide front. But potentially, I think this is not a good strategy uh, for practicing this exercise. Throw run is one meter higher than the head. Throw level 2 is 20 cm higher than the head. Drop level 3 is not a throw, is a drop from the eye's height. So it's 
kind of a drop throw because like I said it has to be a little bit far than you than just if you make a, a distance of your arm drop type of cutting level synchronized with a different type of throw level it doesn't work it's doable but it's, it is just uh, it's not successful if you do it uh, tens of time so if you make a drop a throw level one with um, cut a level three you can be successful but the synchronization won't be natural proprioception slide then eye contact is correct yes this is a, a point that is really important first having your muscles connection proprioception and then you will visualize the object for your safety incorrect when eye contact first will stop correct proprioception yes if you always keep from the beginning like i did on the challenge the object you will be connected to the object but you won't be connected to your slide and the slide won't happen correctly and you won't be safe so this is not correct you can see it yeah the slide is blocking because i'm visualizing too much the object and i'm not uh, sliding correctly so this uh, this is a b huge lack of uh, sa safety and we can't just can't do that with a shinken even with a yaito so the correct way to do it is first proprioception then visualizing and correct throw distance yes this is when the throw is not correct and you keep the eyes contact this is the worst because you have two chance of be unsafe it's too close and you don't have the proprioception starting from one foot space is risky for scuba yes if the space between your feet is not enough it's uh, uh, a danger for your scuba now the results Level 1, throw 1, slide back, cutting with new Kyuchi of Kesa. Three feet of space. The front black line for the object trajectory. It's just working fine. The synchronization is correct between your back foot and you object on the front line no heat in your scoreboard it's smooth because you have the three feet of opening and if the proper description is correct you won't draw out before your foot is on the back line or after the back line Level 2, throw 2, slide back, cutting with Nukiuchi of Suihei. Now it's just perfectly working because uh, the factors, the slide, the correct throw, and the correct synchronization. It is really important to have uh, muscles connection at the moment of the throw this is the way of uh, synchronizing correctly the, um, the the cut so the key of synchronization after uh, before slide and uh, before slide is to have a muscles connection with the throw on the throw during the throw to have the slide synchronized with your throw proprioception first sliding then and three the throw and four the cut and it's just working like tens of time without too much effort no hit on the scoreboard. Proprioception first. 
3 feet of space for the slide synchronization with the eyes and then the cut I had the black glove because with tens of time it was like scratching a bit my hands and they were like some uh, ugly uh, thing so I was just preserving my, my skin uh, and the visual of this video but uh, nothing nothing uh, that is really uh, uh, ugly just uh, a little scratch from skin on the middle Yeah, it's really smooth when it's real well synchronized and everything is just uh, on the good le uh, coordination, on the good um, chronology. It's just working. So now level 3 with the drop throw of level 3 and the Nukyochi of the Akukesa. So it's really the more difficult one. Or you make a little throw like this. But it's between a real throw and uh, just a drop. It was more throw, this one. So it's less correct than did this one was correct. It's between the eyes and just uh, the level of the head. The height of the head. Uh, a bit too, too high. Too high. Yes, this is correct. Of course, the third one is the more difficult one. So the proprioception and the muscles connection has to be really uh, warm and uh, fluid. If you don't feel it, just don't do it. But I propose this because I think this challenge is really interesting uh, with a Yaito uh, with safety and in a dojo condition because on the forest it's really difficult to slide on the ground because there is soil, there is rock, there is many things uh, where that create difficulties to have a proper um, proper condition of uh, practice. So you can see here the level one. He threw the tomato one meter higher than his head and just cut it with uh, two feet between his feet uh, two feet of distance between his feet and uh, yeah I think it's between two feet and three feet of distance between his, between his two feet and he's just uh, cutting uh, on level one with uh, Nukyochi of Kesa and then Nukyochi of Suihei and level 3 is starting from 2 feet of distance between his 2 feet and is just sliding back um, uh, with a drop from 10 centimeters higher than his head. So we can see here what I did. All the mistakes uh, that I was talking about on this video that we can correct with a Yeito and a practice with the rubber band. Uh, of course the slide then the throw and free the synchronization. Thank you for having watched this episode. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay focused, mind sharp and body healthy and see you soon for the next episode in Running Hood.